getting mentally prepared to compete. You see the focus. You feel the energy. These guys are ready to go. Welcome, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports. We've got some NBA action for you coming up. With Greg Anthony and Hall of Famer Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan. And joining us on the sidelines, another Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. Hey, Dave. Thank you, Kevin. Seth Curry has solidified his place in the league. He says, I've just embraced my role no matter where I've been. Growing up with the Pops who played 16 years in the NBA and who was never a starter, I looked up to him just as much, if not more, than the All-Stars. I wanted to have a long career just like him. Kevin? On his way, for sure. David, thanks. Here are the starters for Brooklyn. Durant is the four, with Claxton playing the five. Harris is out there with Irving. Sands O'Neal in at the three slot. And for Philadelphia, on the block, it's Tucker next to Embiid. Shake Milton is out there with Anthony Melton. And it's Harris in at the small four. And certain teams take on the attitude of their city. And over the years, Philadelphia has been one of them. The Sixers known for having tough teams, much like the Packers. He'll be the Nets off the tip. Pass to Tucker. Harris outside. Takes it from 10. Get it, get it. Tucker dishes to Embiid. <coughs> and three chances on that possession, but they just couldn't find a way to score. Here's Durant, driving the way. Goes up and loses it to Rashid. KD's got the first points up on the board tonight here for the Nets. And Greg, you mentioned the 76ers have taken on the identity of Dodo. In your estimation, how? Huh? You know, you go all the way back to the 80s. This has been a team that plays hard, focuses on defense, pretty, much like your city. So they tend to play with a chip on their shoulder. And no good that time. For Philadelphia, who by all three from the field to start the game. Here's Milton. Another miss by Philadelphia. Yeah, scoreless here early after their first four shots. They right now are searching for a bucket. Here's O'Neal. And they call the foul. So he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. That's his first personal foul. That's a pretty bounce pass. Nice. You know, there's lots of basketball to play, Doris. However, my team is off to a cold start. Is it time to panic, or when is it time to panic? It's never time to panic, Kevin, because that is not going to advance your cause. I think you have to look analytically at what's happening. Do you have key guys out to injury? How many new guys do you have on your roster? Is there something in particular contributing to your tough times? But it's never, ever time to panic. Yeah, slow start right now. Five straight misses to get this one going. Oh, they're inflicting some punishment with the two-hand flush. Ah, they're going for the throat. And in the first, a little over a minute and a half in. And there's the call on Kyrie Irving. That is his first foul of the game. His first personal foul. First team foul. Here's MD. With his average of more than 32 points a game, he's getting a points tonight. Here, he's fired up. Offensively, we see him all over the floor. But inside is where he can really utilize that size. Now, here is Irving. One of the most consistent producers in the league. He's averaging around 25 and a half points a game. 80% from the field to start, playing with a ton of confidence. And after all the drama and pointing out, Kyrie or she remains a neck. Feels like a bit of a farewell to it, but they can heal all. And you never know what the future will hold, especially for Kyrie. Now, here is O'Neal, following the miss shot by Tobias Harris. Well, three pointers right on target. And their offense already in a flow. Some stellar shooting to jump out to this one. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time. Well, what I love is the game plan has been 
solid from the opening tip. And guys are making their shots. That's critical. And that was the mobile one drive. Well worth the second look. And the awareness of his footwork and body on that drive. Wow. Outside Irvin for the three. And again, Brooklyn with the two. Time out, time out. The D with very point pressure on their Martin. perimeter shooters. Three of the last five the baskets they've allowed have been from Looks beyond. Like All the 76ers pass. decide to take their first time out here, coming off that loss against the Timberwolves. Actually, uh, I thought they might be able to sustain that momentum that they picked up in the fourth quarter, but was not meant to be. Some changes for Philadelphia. On Hill, he's checked in for MB. Daniel House comes in for P.J. Tucker. And the team starbles up there for Shaka. And then for Brooklyn. And Simmons, he's checked in for Durant. And it's Seth Curry in for Harris. And so it's Brooklyn with it. 76 is getting the button. A three from Simmons. He bound by Harris. by nine points. Bible can't get it to go. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Nets will retain possession. And Kevin Durant has talked about the big 15 for the Nets, but Doris depth has been a concern. Yes, but Kevin, give Kevin Durant credit because he understands that he cannot win a championship by himself. An organization has got to manage payroll with big contracts and then find bargain role players. It's going to be a key to achieving their goals. And there's the call on Kyrie Irving. That's his second number two more down. Second team foul. 55 seconds left for the first quarter. second quarter. Patty Mills is about winning, guys, and if that means finding the open man, he'll do just that. Melton gets to Hero. Tries it from nine. Offensive rebound. Feeds to MB. The third shot of the position. Yeah. 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 It's all of the from inside the paint now. And Doris, the unlimited energy Montrez Hero plays with is very special. It's exactly why he's in the lead, Kevin. Think about it. He's a little bit undersized for his position, but you will not outwork Montrez Harrell, and it's why he gathers respect in every locker room he plays for. And really no longer a ball stopper. Harris has significantly improved his passing ability over the years. 
And a great job to get that angle and a tremendous drop. And no quit. Just keep playing the right way. Stay aggressive and try to battle back. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Olin. Thanks, guys. The Nets have tremendous talent, of course, but there have been some challenges. Katie says, I know the fans have high expectations for us, but if you're a fan, you'll appreciate Nets basketball and what we're trying to build, and you'll follow us on this journey because you never know what may happen. Kevin, back to you. David, thank you. Uh, Simmons with a little flare and flash. Let him feel all of your basketball ability, Ben Simmons. And now, let's take one more look at that great mobile one drop. And despite the double kill, oh, he still has an attack for the people. Their feet wet there. Team the back. Some changes for Philadelphia. P.J. Tucker, he's checked in for Hill. And it should oh. go to him for DeAnthony Mellon. And then for Brooklyn, Curry. Durant comes in that for Simmons. First and first Edmund out. Sumner's second in for O'Neal. Philadelphia shooting their first three points. On the season, one of their best attributes. Sharp checked in for the Nets, and Harris drops them both. And great, the Philadelphia 76 have made it very clear that they are all in on a title run. And their front office has been very focused on trying to get top two down on this roster. And after the trust the process here, they're now aggressively pursuing titles here in Philly. Here's Milton following the three-pointer by Brooklyn. Determine if those are quality hey, numbers. So you know, Kevin, it's a great question. Is yeah. somebody's going to put up points hey. or collect rebounds or get assists? So, you know, you look at efficiency, you, you look at the effort, and there's no doubt that you can stop winning players on these teams. Herbie's checked in for Patty Mills. MB wide open. Good. And here's the assist. Here's the assist now. on the jump shot. And Durant's the mentality they want out of a big man. And those aren't the type of three-point opportunities that you can allow in the NBA. Offensive rebound, Tucker. And a missed play. I'll tell you, most of the time, this guy's going to finish that. But that was tremendous defense that prohibits him from completing the play. The kick out to Irvin. A three. And again, Brooklyn with the triple. Three point falling, guys. That's three in a row. The 76ers trailed by 18. On the way, Harris. Offensive rebound. And Durant sends it back. This is probably the aspect as his career has gone on where Kevin Durant has improved the most. The defensive end, he is a real factor. It's impressive. The level of domination at both ends. And you're seeing the results. You know this. It's not easy building a lead on the road, but this team has been lights out throughout the game. Now, here's Sean. They lead by 20. That's the most I've seen. And that one's good. Durant. Getting it done on both ends, and it shows up in the score. Well, what I love is the energy they're bringing right now. They're ignoring the scoreboard and playing hard. And the 76ers call time here. And after that trade request this summer, Kevin Durant still a Brooklyn net. The offer was enough to move the needle. And the decision was made to run it back. One thing's for sure. When you've got KD, you've got a chance. Daniel Rojas has checked in for the 76ers. 
Matisse Thibel comes in for Cortez. Scooped up. MB. And there's the ball. Stapleton on the offensive pass. Getting it down. Well, it looks like he has put that rough first quarter in the rear view. He's starting to cook here in the second. And it's Katie. Look at Kevin Durant, all six foot nine, but what a handle. Gosh, that move is pretty. There's 37 seconds left to play in the first half. Welcome the pass to Harris. Now, here's Fiber. He's guarded close. And that one is good. It's the Nets now. We want to keep rolling here following the win against Memphis. Well, you, you saw how down up they were from distance. The defense just couldn't get out to everyone. And that explains their three-point percentage. They had more than a few players giving the defense absolute fits from range. Going for that shot in that situation is something that isn't going to help the offense. And in a way, by taking that one, he's bailing out the defense. It's just too easy to stop. And if you look at this first half, overall, they just had the better shot selection. And I think, obviously, we see the execution and the willingness to make the next pass. And so it's the Brooklyn Nets holding a very comfortable 25-point lead as the quarter comes to a close. They've been playing some ferocious defense. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldrich from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks very much, Doc. I heard you imploring your team, stick to the game plan and know your personnel. What does that mean? They'll keep messing up coverages. You know, I get messing up on some guys, but that can't happen, but it did. So we just got to move it forward. We'll see if the communication picks up. Thanks, Doc. Back to you guys. Thanks so much, David. And we'll step away briefly, but get you right back out here for the start of the third quarter after this break. Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, everybody. So far, a pretty uh, lopsided game, but still one half to play. I'm Ernie Johnson, joined by Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jim Smith. Brooklyn did not hesitate to set the pace. They had intensity in their eyes and fire in their bellies as they started things out on a 7-0 run. Just a dominant opening period. They led by 13 after one. Then in quarter number two, it was all hands on deck, and what a show it was. Quality execution, good efficiency, some tremendous defensive play. Helped them take a decisive advantage, and they're running away with this one. Kenny, your thoughts on the Nets' first half? Thought very effective. With the exception of ball movement and play calling, they were able to exploit multiple weaknesses in the defense. They've got to feel good about themselves running out to a huge lead. And over to Shaq. What did you think about Philadelphia? First of all, where's the intensity on this? Because we're a team that's pumping you like this. And he's trying to put a stop to it. You know? They keep giving up open looks. Let the league get bigger and bigger and bigger. And it's just about time now for the third quarter to get underway. Sensational. Yeah, he's just been raining down on him from deep here. Talk about dialed in. Well, the break certainly didn't have a cooling effect on him at all. He's in a great rhythm, looking comfortable and confident. Now, here is Irving, setting the four for the Nets. Durant is the four, with Braxton playing the five. Three. Irving is out there with Harris, and it's Curry in at the three, the small four. Well, Katie's still a net after asking for a trade that the team looked, but didn't feel the deal was there. And Durant will continue to play, but you feel like this story could drag on until the trade deadline. Seth Curry. Curry. And now the latest from our reporter, David Alder. Thank you, Kevin. Well, Kevin Durant learned an important lesson at age 11. His dad cooked him 101. Dunking on him and trying to crash. He started crying and he locked himself in his room. But he came to realize, what am I so mad at? It's good to be passionate, but channel it. Once you're off the court, leave it and go back to being you. 
Kevin, great advice. David, thanks. Bounce pass for Milton. Here's Tucker. It's deflected. In transition, here come the Nets. And there's a foul. We're going on shoot for personal foul. That's his first foul. foul. I mean, that's a tough break now for the day. I mean, he the took the hit. And Drew Royce was O'Neal. And Brooklyn making a change here. O'Neal's checked in. Durant for three. And the Nets on another three. Yeah, great outside shooting. Really fueling this run. Down low. Here's Embiid. Nice pass. Yeah. Running for the rack. Perfectly to the layup. Uh, and it's 13 three. points for Joel Embiid. And here are the Nets. They're on a 12 to 4 run right now. It's out of bounds. Brooklyn will return the possession. Nets ball. Just a little over 90 seconds gone in the third quarter. The three from KD. But only the first miss of the second half. They come out here with authority. Harris. Harris has got seven. And it does a world of good for them to have Harris getting busy inside. Gets them that inside-out edge they're looking for. And that was another look at the fantastic mobile one drive that happened a moment ago. And they might be down big, but you'd love the mentality he has to go in defenders and just keep attacking. That's a dozen straight points coming off the trip. And last season, the Nets were a favorite to win it all. But Greg, a first-round sweep by the Charlotte's proof, a very rude awakening. And Kyrie missing so many games. How about Harden wanting out? Hard to build chemistry and continuity. That has to be the focus moving forward. Count on Kevin Durant to be consistent as a scorer night after night after night. For Philadelphia, they've gone 4 7 to get things started here in the second half. Here is outside. Trying to react, but to no avail. Well, 
that's the whole point, isn't it? If you space the floor well enough, it's almost impossible for the defense to account for everyone. And you can see he just has a great overall feel for this game. Excellent job tonight. And that's been his role pretty much from the opening tip. Get the ball to guys where they can score it. It could go. What a play. Simply treats it in at the buzzer. Score. Big time shot. Keep the buzzer there. Well, that's the perfect end of the quarter for them. You have no idea how much of an effect those buzzer beaters can have on a team's momentum. And so it's Kevin Durant making headlines and highlights for the Brooklyn Nets. He's been a major threat from three-point range. Got two of them to fall in that quarter. And don't go away. We'll be right back. And let's take now this moment to bring up our State Farm assist of the game. And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them, and, and what a beautiful feat. Nothing better than chemistry, right? Working together to create a bucket. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. D'Anthony knocked out there with court bombs. And there's an E. in the paint, the defense, nowhere to be found. That one drops for Edwards. Edwards got his first points in this one. Well, Patty Mills has proven to be a very capable scorer, but he can also be an outstanding passer. And that one's good. I don't know what's happening defensively, but they're not putting up any resistance. And that last look brought to you by the AT&T 5G Slam King. Here's Sharp, and the layup's good off the glass. You have to love the ball distribution. Keep everyone involved. Philadelphia shooting well, 50% from the floor. Passes it to Korkmaz. Out left to the wing. And it's sent back by Irving. Don't tell me Kyrie Irving can't play defense. Send it back high. Took him no time at all on that one. And let's get your guys' take now on the hustle stats for the Nets. Uh, they made a point to protect the rim, challenging shots all game long, and the block total is off the chart. And you also have to love the way they've gotten out and run in transition. A ton of good chances tonight, simply from being willing to run the floor. And, and no matter who it is, that kind of D isn't going to get it done. Elton kicks to the end. Another miss by Philadelphia. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. Sharp, the pass to Mills. Let's it go from deep. And the Nets, another after three. Mills. Yeah, that's two three. straight three-pointers they've allowed. To the middle to stop the run. A nice shot by Indiana. And B's got four points in the quarter. They own the interior right now. Ten straight points coming from inside. Kicks it to Irving. Takes a three. And the call will be against George Mann. George Mann. That is his first foul of the game. That's his first Both personal foul. Both teams deciding to change it up. Here's Sumner. Now the pass to Thomas. On the court. Buries it from three-point range. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. That's tipped. Mills with the steal. And now in transition is Mills. Here we go. For three. No good. And the 76ers go the other way with it. Here's Champagne. Watch out, Mr. <coughs> and time from Edwards. Nets have gone six of eight to the field in the fourth so far. It's been a great start to this final quarter for them. Shots good by Mills. Mills. Yeah, Four coming three. down the stretch, they've become reliant upon their perimeter game. Boy, the three-point arc has been a major factor in what they've done here tonight. You love the aggressiveness. A nice shot by Reed. Oh, Unselfishness can be infectious. Terrific teamwork. Edwards kicks to Sumner. And here's Mills for three. And the Nets, another three. 
Yeah, he's found his rhythm from deep, and, and you can see the confidence. And I think the defender knows once he gets cooking, look out. The bucket looks awfully big to him right now. Great positioning on the putback. That is really good work there on the offensive glass. The leadership of the NBA Players Association, Greg, has said they support expansion Bill. in two cities, Three points. which seem to be the leading candidates, Seattle and Las Vegas. What do you think? Okay, well, I love both. Had the good fortune of playing in both cities, and I'd love to see a team in my hometown. But bottom line, more teams means more jobs, and that's the sentiment I think most can get behind it. And so it's going to end up in the record books as a blowout, a dominating performance for Brooklyn. And this was one that never really was in doubt, but an all-around dominant performance. You could have thought that it would be one. Yeah, there was a sense of that. And they, they just pretty much blew them right out of the water. A clinic was put on display here today. And they took charge when it counted in three, notching their ninth win overall. And against a conference opponent, always good to take that first win of the season series to establish a psychological edge. And the Nets with possession here. From the arc. And again, Brooklyn with the triple. On it, making every effort to put this game on ice. Well, that's terrific teamwork. Each guy doing his part. You love what you're seeing from them tonight. Springer can't get it to go. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Here's Edwards, and Edwards with the stop. Well, they knew it would be a hostile environment, and they rose to the challenge. And sometimes when everyone's rooting against you, it seems to bring the unit closer together. It certainly did tonight. Here's Springer after the basket by Brooklyn. Will it go? Going inside. And he just crushes the D for falling asleep at the wheel. Yeah, a little disorganized that time. And the result, two points in the loudest way possible. Yeah, sometimes aggression can overcome certain offensive limitations. You saw it right there. Here's Springer. And Patrick Hill gets the whistle that time. That's his second personal foul. That'll be his second foul. First game. team foul. That's, it's close, Double but, you know, didn't on get on balance quick enough. And so it's Brooklyn easily That's grabbing this one. Game. To come into an opponent's building and dominate the game. 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 Tonight says it's going break an awful lot about this team. Game. Game. And we'll see you in the next 40 <laughs> at home. I mean, Kevin, just a masterful performance all the way around. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Kevin, thanks. KD, a statement win. How satisfying is it for you? It was fun. It was fun. Uh, we came out play hard. Uh, guys played together. And this is all I expected, man. I'm, I'm glad that you know we was able to get the win tonight. We're looking forward to the next game. We're looking forward to seeing you out there again, man. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. We'll do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Oden. This is Kevin Harlan along with our terrific 2K Sports crew. Thanking you for tuning in. See you later.